So I'm Jakina here reporting for duty and today we're bringing a new game to the channel called The Great Whale Road. The Great Whale Road is a game that is about, that's set in the medieval times where you go through a family, it's a, uh, and you go through the story of the family of that time. And, uh, it's a RPG turn-based strategy game. The only, um, the only family that's here right now is the Danes, but it's fully finished. It's gonna be, the game has been in early access for a while and it's gonna fully release on the 30th of this month. Uh, and uh, there's gonna be more families in the future, but for right now the Danes are fully complete So we're gonna go ahead and start their journey So I'm excited it's been a while since I've played like an RPG RPG So it's gonna be fun to do the leaves have begun to change their colors and the Sun grows cold the winter draws near yet The ship has not returned I'm liking it so far. Ooh, nice nice painting right there the Jarl of your hold set sail with his husk, husk girls early this summer. They sailed south to answer the missive of the Jarl's brother, who begged them to travel to the lands of the Saxons. Every time... I, I always find uh, Saxon warriors to be really funny. I don't imagine actual warriors. I imagine people playing the saxophone. Your Jarl is a respected man. His skilled trader has dealt with the Saxons as slaves, horn com com combs, and the amber. So we did a lot of trading with them. He knows when to claim, claim guest rights and when to assert his authority with steel. Yeah, good. Uh, you receive word that he landed on the Saxon shore and you expect his return in late summer. Okay. But he never came back. Then silence. Yeah, that's what they were saying, but they never came back. Summer slipped away over many long weeks, and yet you heard nothing. Maybe they were on the way back, and a big storm hit, and they all drowned. Finally, a messenger arrived, bringing him the stink of death. A treacherous Saxon ambush your warriors, and the treacherous... Oh, they ambush your warriors and put everyone to the sword. Well, you fuck the Saxons, bro. We're going to take them down. That's what's going to happen. Feels bad. Every member in your village lost a brother, a son, a sister, or a sweetheart. They... Needs to be a, some grammar right there. All more or morn in this winter seems colder than any memory. Yeah, I'd imagine if everybody lost like part of their family in this terrible raid because the Saxons are apparently giant assholes. Fuck them in their sex phones, right? All right. So, but I'm, I'm excited. The last turn-based game I played kind of was uh, Pit People, but that was more like a funny kind of turn-based game it wasn't like insanely detailed especially since that game was super early access so I'm super excited to come into like a pretty much a full release of a turn-based tactical game which is gonna be you know it might, it's gonna be probably a bit of a long series as, as typically RPGs are a, lo a bit longer than than normal we'll, we'll, we'll see if it um We'll see how it goes along, you know, at the most, I just really want to show off the game, so we'll still see. Alright, you are Fred Styred, yes, year one. Yes? Okay, I was like waiting for something to pop up. The Saxons' treachery has left Jofestead leaderless. Losing so many warriors has weakened the small settlement's defenses. The village elders, including the war hero Cattell, will elect a new leader. The new Jarl will need to train warriors, see to justice and governance of the village, and prepare for the winter. The Jarl's obvious successor were with him during the ambush. The selection will not be a simple one. Huh. Let's see. You are Brera. You have survived two husbands in many winters. Defending your farmstead from raiders, you are the head of your family and a reputation for tough and wisdom. Um... Uh, <laughs> So I've survived, I'm a woman who survived two husbands and fuck up people who comes and starts to steal my food. Um, or I am uh, Floki, nephew to the Jarl. Many say you should inherit the heavy mantle of your uncle's position. You spend more time practicing the lyre than the sword, but you know your cool head and sharp tongue could be more valuable than a spear. Ooh, um, no, I want to do the nephew because I can probably relate more. To that, as the elders announce the decision, someone hands you an old, well, or an old but well-oiled blade. You swear to Odin that the folks in the package hall will not rest until the dead have been avenged. The crowd shouts for Loki as they lose interest as the thralls begin to roll out mead barrels. Katil grins while he moves to his spear through various overhand forums. You haven't done much fighting lately. Rusty weapons and weak warriors. It's high time to put some oak back into all of us. 
Uh, so Catrill has a weak knee, but his eyes are still sharp. He sent a he sent a score of enemies to the feast in Odin's Hall. Oh, okay. Um. Let's show us how it is done then. Yes. Uh, you roll your shoulder, shoulders and enter the fray. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta practice up some fighting, you know, get a hang of the combat, how to turn base. I think it's gonna be very similar to, if you've ever played the Banna Saga before, I think that's, a, from what I was looking at, the combat looks very similar to that. Uh, Tile-based movement on hexes and things like that. So it's probably gonna be about the same. The combat of the Great Whale is turn-based. During your turns, you can deploy heroes, use war cries, move each hero, attack or warlay, or end your turn. To deploy heroes, select them in the starting positions and place them. Each hero has a round number for when they can be deployed in battle. The hero's loyalty when to, to you defines when you can deploy them. So, Warcry name, uh, focus, cost 1, this is target, plus 10 ace, uh, eight, accuracy for one turn. Uh, the hero's war cries. Each hero has three war cries to use in battle. The, uh, these war cry points, you start with a full pool to spend on war cries. You gain extra war cries to defeating your enemies. To use a war cry, select it and choose on which hero you want to use it on. Uh, choosing to attack or war lay ends the actions phase for that hero. Weapons have a different ranges requiring you to be within distance. Some weapons have two attack types. You can choose either one or you can choose one or the other when attacking. Each attack type has different properties and may inflict side effects. Warlay is an intercept stance that allows you to hit enemies that move near your weapon's range. It will also allow you to use primary attacks of your weapon and has a minus 25%. So this is kind of, Warlay is pretty much like Overwatch in XCOM where you're, you're, you're readying an attack for someone to move forward. Any hit you take will interrupt the stance. Uh, there are three types, slash, front, piercing. Uh, so let's see. Uh, this is the most balanced, has average damage range of critical, blunt, uh, if the enemy has defense points, this will concentrate on breaking them away, remove two defense points. Yeah, so they're very similar to uh, Banner Saga type of content. When this enemy is blocked, it will also deal one damage along with breaking one defense, it is at the expense of accuracy, yeah. At the end of the turn, when you're done with a hero, skip your turn without using every hero. Uh, when ending the turn, the heroes should not have attacked or assumed a war last night, will automatically go to their defensive stance. This stance gives a 100% block chance, and they will block every, er, er, block very, will block very attack as long, every, yeah, every attack. That's, that's another misspelling. Uh, attack as long as they have defense points. The defense stance is also repairs broken shield. Uh, in battle, this, uh, each slide has a leader, each side, not slide, that can identify with the ornaments of the base that the leader follows their warband receives a war cry po or penalty to their war cry points. Some battles can be won by defeating enemy leaders. Enemy leaders can call reinforcements. You will see the horn above their head, hit them as much as you can interrupt them. You can toggle visibility for character info, a stat button. All right, so that's basic. Uh, to do this tutorial, yeah, I understand. So I have to defeat the leader. Uh... I can lay down one person now, right? And then I have to wait for turn two for this person, turn three for this person. All right, so this guy has a war axe. He has a block chance, DP, so we'll just go ahead and throw him down now. Uh, throw him probably, I kind of want to have him over here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick them close to each other. Move him up to here, and then you up to here. Come on, move. Damn it! There we go. And then attack Warlay. And then Warlay this guy. So if anyone moves up into his range, uh, they're gonna get effed up. So in turn, right? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else I can do. I guess I could probably use a war cry, but I don't honestly see a reason to. Yeah, so pretty much is Overwatch. That's why they have a the little ooh. He's really setting up over there. For that uh your turn i can deploy another person put him down right here and i will move you here and then i'm just gonna war lay everyone because i'm pretty sure they're gonna move up into my range we'll see though they might not they might not be like some big old pusses oh there we go one hp down to him three hp for him oh she has a oh she has a spear so she could get farther away right I did not mean to hit my plate. I'm sorry for all of your ears right there. It probably was super fucking loud. I'll try to reduce that in the uh, post-recording. 
because I'm sure that was terribly loud. Alright, so it's my turn again. Uh, so this guy is already pretty hurt. None, no one else is pretty hurt, so we're just gonna go for the straight attack on him. 64% chance. Pretty good. That's 3 HP. Oh, gone. Boo, get wrecked, bro. Alright, uh, attack this guy. Pierce or stab? I mean, it's gonna be the same damage regardless. So I'm just gonna go with the more accurate one. There you go, that's pretty good. Minus two damage points on him, and then we'll go for the attack on you. Uh, pierce, that, slash. I mean, we'll go for the pierce. Ooh, nice! That was placed footing? Where did that extra five damage come from? That was brutal. That was really, really good damage. I can place this guy down. Um, uh, I can move him up to here. Warlay. Just Warlay. I think he has a spear too, so I should be able to attack when they come up. Alright, in turn. They regen some HP, that's good. What are these guys' HP looking? Uh, not bad. Uh, you know, it pierced my foot, so I have slower movement speed. Uh, your turn. Alright. Uh, oh, they both have spears, so they're both gonna just be pretty, pretty big assholes, actually. Alright, pierce him. Four damage, that's good. Pierced his foot, come up to here. Attack him. Ooh, nice. How much HP does this guy have left? Not much. So I can move him up to here. Attack. And this should take him down, I think. Haha! We're doing pretty good for our first. I mean. Oh, we had to take out the leader. Oh, well, that works. Flawless victory! Haha! We succeed! Silver gain, nothing. It was just tutorial battle, so that's good. Hopefully we weren't actually killing our own people. That'd be terrible. <laughs> Could you imagine? We're like, well, now we have even less warriors. That's, that'd be terrible. Um, so yeah, like I said, the combat's very similar to um, to uh, the Banner Saga. Uh, Kitsuna warns you that the village is not well prepared. Uh, the elders bickering between themselves with Goder, all while the food stocks get low and the yard's silver chest is nearly empty. The village barn is empty, where are the oats? The god has forsaken us. I've seen clubs with sharper edge than this sword. Um... Sacrificing oxen is probably a pretty bad idea, because oxen can be used for a lot of good things. Ask everyone to hand over some of their silver, so you'll be able to buy... I'm gonna go do the barns, to go get food for everyone. So, uh, this is food, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the farms have more food squirreled away than you expected. You have earned a ration of staples, and there will be some grumbling. Uh, but there's enough food to make it through the winter. Perfect. So, let's see. Winter planning. The winter planning is where you plan to survive on development of your set settlement. There are resources. Once summer begins, you will see the first resource of your planning, and then winter returns, you'll see the remaining results. Uh, assign a population to plan your production force. There are three areas that provide food to your people. Farming does not produce any food during the winter, only during the summer, while hunting and husbandry provides during food the whole year. Uh, warfare raises your defense against raids, increases your renown, the renown of your heroes during your travels. Diplomacy increases the benefits of trading and the market. Traditions increase your people's happiness, making them perform better at their jobs. And craftsmanship produces multiple items that are useful for trading. So the expected result you can get from the idea of your outcomes of production planning. The final result may depend on how your current year treats your people. Producing more than enough food stocks will encourage population go growth. Pr uh, producing less than necessary will cause the starve to die. Leftovers from one season will carry over to the next. On average, one stockpile food stock is enough to feed five people. So we have a lot of food stocks, right? Like an ass ton? Like 1900? That's a fucking lot. Okay. Uh, so one food stock's enough to feed five people. We have 36 people right now. So, we have 11 people, right? Uh, we have 11 more people that we can assign. Um, yeah, we have pretty much everyone who can do on, uh, on farming. I'm gonna put an additional person in hunting and husbandry, because I think that's gonna be really good. Uh, produce is a great amount of food for uh, food as no longer wiping plague. Oh, okay. Oh, is that our level for how good we are in a certain... What is that? Information. Oh, we can upgrade it. Oh. If we have enough supplies and wood, but we do not have neither of those. Uh, let's see. We have... 
There's a, we'll bump up a little bit of uh, warfare power in there. Probably max that up to actually upgrade our trading influence, craftsmanship, and then I might put the rest of the people. Happiness bonus is pretty important, and then uh, I'll just do this. I think that's a pretty decent amount to have, you know, kind of spread around, a lot of stuff max, craftsmanship's, you know, doing decently. I don't think I have the materials to upgrade any of these areas, probably. No, I didn't think so. We should be fine, though. So, winter has arrived, and uh, I know that we have more than enough food. Winter on the land, land is mild enough, but the whole but the whale road turns into an angry and fickle beast once the leaves change colors. So day 56. Uh, ice and snow have uh, belayed the villagers for weeks now. Everyone is looking for Yule, especially the children. You need to decide where the meat for the feast will come from. If the winter really turns out to be long and harsh as foretold by the Cirrus, you will struggle. Okay, uh, everyone wants blood pudding. These scrawny horses will not survive a long winter anyways. Hmm. Select the oldest and weakest animals? Ah. I mean, probably that. The oldest and weakest animals. Slaughter that would make everyone the happiest. I'm gonna do the oldest and weakest animals. Uh, happiness went up a little bit. The cold dampers the festive spirit a little. Uh, but the horse meat and one of the old oxen's helped to turn into a developing feast. At least the children look happy enough with a slice of hot meat between their fingers. Alright, good stuff. We lost a little bit of food, but happiness went up. So, Chicken Thief. Uh, you have lost a third chicken in a week. You suspect a foss, but you cannot be certain as you have found, haven't found any tracks and the dogs have not shown any sign of alarm. Um, hide a dog in the coop. Hide yourself in the coop, motherfucker. Yeah! You surprise a scrawny old man who lunges at you with a knife. You kill him without too much trouble. He isn't from the village and justice has been served. He paid for chickens for his life. Yeah, that's right, you motherfucker. You're trying to steal my goddamn chickens? Get out of here, dude. They're my chickens. So I got some horn combs and some amber. Alright, so this is the winter results. Um, We were expected to get, what, 627? And we only got 322? Is that what that's saying? Population increased by one. Yeah, I think we've considerably lost quite a bit of food uh, from that, right? Food production, average daily food production, average daily consumption, seven. Yeah, food reserves, winter production, winter consumption. Yeah, we lost quite a bit from events, uh, left for summer, a lot. We should get a lot from summer, right? I'm pretty sure. So food production bonus from the magicians is a little bit, was 10, that's barely anything, oh god. Uh, warfare bonus, warriors, repelled raids, no one attacked us, uh, no diplomacy really happened, and we crafted some stuff. Alright, home settlement. Your spread is your home settlement. You can view warband information, browse your storage, and purchase blacksmith weapons. To journey out, you can choose quest and journey map. Uh... Your first to journey. The more experienced warriors will share their knowledge with you. You have much to learn and and more to teach your warband. Embark on your first journey. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's do that. Before you leave on a journey, you need to make preparation. Choose the heroes you take with you. Your warband leader and warriors automatically added. Yada yada. Load your ship with provisions. All right. So, I mean, add warriors. No, no, I get it. I add warriors. You know, I. It's the same basic. So we're gonna add. This person has a bal yeah has a spear, hunting spear, hunting knife, and then isn't this like oh no that's my main dude um yeah we want this he heavy hunting do spears are just so good in all honesty they're so good oh, this guy's my warband leader yeah because it says I can't I can't remove him so I'm assuming so Falogi the deaf I'm deaf well I guess that kind of really applies to me dude I have terrible hearing. To be 100% honest. Alright, uh, confirm, that's good. Uh, load goods. We'll, we'll bring some, like, some horn combs. Like, five of them. Maybe some amber, like, five of those. Uh, mead that we're keeping that. Keeping hunting dogs. And we're keeping all that. We'll confirm that. Uh, so it's gonna be two days to get to this other town. Oh, daily food consumption. So I'm gonna need some food, right? Otherwise, they're gonna, like, fucking starve. 
that should be enough. So daily food consumption, it'll only take a couple days, we'll start our journey. Yeah, because they'll be on their way and they'll be like, I'm so hungry! And I'll be like, I don't have any fucking tomatoes for you, dog. Like, you know, just, they'll just starve out there. Your crew must care, learn to carry your banner around. They will also have a chance to buy new weapons and armors. Most of the good chainmail was lost with the Uriah's Warband, apart from the... Keteriz Brian, all of your weapons are rusted and, and nicked. Luckily, there are plenty of spears and shields left, though you long for a proper sword or war axe. Yeah, we only have the one dude with a really good war axe. Everyone else is one or two damage. When you go on a quest, your resources are related to what you're carrying on your ship. Out on sea, heroes will gradually consume food and lose adventure stats. To recover these stats, you need to spend the night in a camp or settlement. If you spend the night on the boat, you will not be able to recover. So what kind of adventure stats do they lose? The speed of your economy you off guard and your ship runs aground the Oh my god. Uh Use the time and make some repairs. You make some repairs and you're able to clean the whole part or part of the hole. That's good. So what are these bottom stats? Oh, those are like I don't I have no idea. <laughs> this is obviously health, energy, I don't know what this bottom one is. So we're we're almost there. Don't we want to visit this? Isn't this where we wanted to go? Right? Isn't it? I was pretty sure this is where we wanted to go. Seat of the Under King. Hey, what's going on, dog? You got some nice houses. There's a short trip to Wurtstad. The Seat of the Under King in a bleach market is a small marketplace, but well maintained. The beach can be accessed freely. But any attacker would practice target for every warrior with a stone spear or bow behind a ramp in a palisade. The hall itself is on a low hill behind a separate wall. For you, it's the first time you have left the island in your life, and Kratil tells you not to wander off on your own. Alright, so when you are in another location such as a camp or a settlement, you'll be able to do some of the following tasks. Uh, trade, hunt, assign heroes for hunting. Uh, the hall is where heroes can re recover endurance. Maybe that's what this one is? I think it's this one though, to be honest. In the tavern, you can feed your crew and heroes, raise their morale. Yeah, uh, because this is probably their HP, this is probably their morale, and this is probably their energy, their endurance, maybe? Uh, the healer will restore health, uh, buy equipment at the blacksmith, you can also repair your hero, or repair your ship. That ship is fine, right? I'm pretty, yeah, it's 20 out of 20. Uh, these tasks will either recover, assign heroes, Avenger stats to confirm all your assignments. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's this? Your first journey. Alright, just as you reach the market area, you fall onto your face, straight into a dung heap. You wipe the shit from your face while ignoring the ruckus laughter all around you. The warrior who has tripped you kicks... Uh, you kick... <laughs> the warrior who has tripped you kicks you viciously in the stomach. What the fuck? What a piece of shit! And you wonder what qualifies as a warm welcome. You aren't embarrassed, but you also relieve when you hear Katil's voice. He urges the warrior to continue if he wants to be glad. Is that how you welcome fellow Danish travelers here nowadays? Take a swipe at the nearest warrior. Well, I don't, I don't want it to just be like any warrior. Uh, the group of warriors isn't counted by the old hero. You get the chance to restore your honor. Oh, now fucking fuck him up. Yes. Oh, our first like actual battle. Fucking piece of shits. Yeah, I can't believe that, dude. What a fucking assholes. All right, boom. Put you here. Move up. Move up, and then we're just gonna uh, waylay them all. Yeah, these guys are gonna get wrecked. That's all I'm telling you right now. I'm ready to wreck the fuck out of these mofos. Defeat the leader, which is probably this guy. He just seems like an important leader type. Oh yeah, get wrecked, dude. He's gonna attack here, and he's eh, only one HP. That's not too bad. They only have that one spear, dude. So it's not like he's gonna be able to do much. That guy didn't move at all. Well, they can. That's their problem, not mine. Um, I can. I guess I could move up, cause she can. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of move up. I'm gonna move him up to here. Oh, but they're way late. Fuck me. Why I do that? He missed, I think. Uh, hit. Okay, one damage, not terrible. Could have been better, though. Uh, attack this guy. Only one HP? Fuck, how much HP does this dude have left? Uh, attack. 
Hopefully this is enough to take him out. I highly doubt it, though. Well, at least he got a little hurt. That's what's important here, right? Little bits of damage. Yeah, they're going to probably whip some damage on me right now. 2 HP under this guy. These two aren't going to be able to attack. This guy will attack, but he missed, so that's good. He's, he's moving around. He's gonna. He wants to come over here. Yeah, heavy hunting spear. Let's get this fucking dude out here. Uh, just attack this guy. Yeah, he's gonna get destroyed if he gets hit at all. Oh, feels bad, man. Attack. Come on, do it. Pierced foot. Still nothing? Oh my god. I only needed to do one more. Our damage is terrible. We have the worst weapons. We have the worst weapons. Alright, thankfully, one dude down. Holy shit, dude. That took forever. Alright, everyone went, right? Fuck me, dude. We, we took so much damage. Or just, well, not like a lot of damage. We just missed five damage? Oh shit, dude. Oh no! 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 <laughs> That's real bad! Oh wait, he's the leader. Alright, Mike, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm hoping my dude isn't actually dead. Alright, that's what I'm hoping. Ah, oh, fuck me, dude. Fuck, dude, why you keep missing? I just want to do one damage. Oh, there we go, four damage, there we go. Finally. Fuck, dude. <laughs> That was so bad, dude. He lit huge numbers on the axe, though. I don't think that we're permanently dead. That'd be terrible. We're probably just injured. I think there was... If, if, they, if they really are holding true to the Banner Saga-like things, you just get injured from uh, those attacks. And don't actually die. So we'll see if that's the case. Come on, hit. Fuck, dude. You missed so much. You fucking piece of crap. Oh, uh, why are you guys so bad? Why are you so finally? Jesus, fuck, it's not enough though. All I probably needed was honestly one more damage. Yeah, look, I bet one more damage, yeah. One more fucking damage would have took him out. All right, yes, attack him. Uh, well, don't, oh God. I hope I don't lose. Okay, I didn't lose. Right? I didn't lose? Finally, this motherfucker hits! Holy shit, dude, he's so bad. Oh, uh, your enemies lie on the ground, bleeding, hopeless, praying to the gods. Yes, oh my god. <laughs> Heroes defeated too. Silver gain. We got some silver, but that was a terrible, terrible battle. Oh my god, we got, we got pretty badly destroyed throughout that. That was, I think that we were just missing so much. It had nothing to do with like our damage. We were just missed like over half of our attacks. Yeah, they have no energy, no energy. Yeah, we need to like sleep. Uh, put you in there. Oh no, no, not rest. What we need is a healer actually. Well, I guess you do need the rest. Cause they are pretty effed up. So confirm that. Everyone else is pretty much fine. Um, uh, tavern, healer. This is where we trade? Alright, let's see what we can get from these. So, if we were to sell these, 35? I don't know how much these are really worth, so I'm just gonna sell them all and take take all the monies. Uh, ivory, thralls. I don't really give a shit about any of this. Uh, confirm, we'll take that monies. Give me the monies! Alright, um, and I think we'll go ahead and end the episode here, and I'll see you guys next time with many more the Great Whale Road to come. I'm Sergeant Kenai, and I'm signing out.